Hey guys, this is Aaron with Blue Collar Bike Works. Today I'm working on one of my roll around toolboxes. I managed to break the casters on the bottom of it by setting a lift on it. So we're gonna replace those. I'm gonna show you some tools that'll help make it easier to help you swap those out. So stay tuned and check it out. All right, so this is my, uh, my main service cart. It has all my service tools in it and it has pictures of my kids there but uh what i ended up doing was i had pushed it up against a lift and the lift bled off overnight and it bent the the casters on the bottom and um these are them and then what happens is um it's got these plastic inserts right here and uh, this is what actually bent and broke these fit up in the bottom of the uh, cart and then the casters just snap into place with these and um, those broke uh, this is the second time I've had to replace these in probably 10 years of owning this cart I've had it for a long time this is a Mac tools cart um, I've got the uh, the new pieces they came in yesterday and uh, this is what they look like brand new And um, swapping them out is fairly easy, but one of the things that makes it infinitely easier is having a jack to set it up. I have two flat jacks. You can see them there. And um, if you just try to jack it up or, or try to do them one at a time, I haven't done this job before, it is really hard. So uh, having these flat jacks makes it a lot easier on uh, just the work it takes to knock them out. Um, you can pull the caster straight out. They have a, uh, a brass compression ring on it. That's just a slip fit. But what happens with the, um, the plastic inserts is they get deformed and they get really hard to, uh, to get out. So I've taken a, a chisel and a hammer and I've knocked them out and uh, that makes it a lot easier to uh, to remove them and then the new ones you just use a hammer and tap them back up into place so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap these out I'm gonna take the the very last one out it's still in there I'm gonna knock it out and then I'm gonna reinstall the new ones and uh, I'll show you guys what we got when we're done All right, after a little bit of hammering and a little bit of cursing, we got our casters installed. Just like with everything else in life, if you use a little bit of lube, it'll make it easier. I sprayed some silicone spray on the uh, casters, and uh, I ended up having to use two hammers to hammer them in, but I got them installed, and now everything rolls. And, uh, works just like it should and the box is nice and level like it was before i ran over it this has all my service tools in it all my wrenches um pretty much everything i need on a daily basis and i have other boxes um mainly for storage of specialty tools um old school steam it logo <laughs> But this is the one I use the most because this is the one that has wheels, it has everything I need in it, and I roll it around the, the shop to work on different bikes. Um, here's a custom chopper we're building right now. Um, let me show you the, um, the flat jacks that I use. Um, if you're working on any kind of uh, motorcycles, these tools are indispensable. They, uh, they go down really low. So they're easy to slide underneath frames and uh, I use these to change tires and pretty much anything I need around the shop um, obviously not everybody's gonna have access to these these are about 275 bucks a piece retail and I have three of them but I use them every day and uh, it helps to get underneath stuff like this but the main thing on installing these is you have to get this thing up high enough to work on it so whether you have just a regular hydraulic or a car jack, 
get it up, block it up where you can get it far enough where you can get this whole caster and the spindle part of it up underneath where you can get a straight shot and when you install it it'll all go in a lot easier and if you're trying to do it one at a time or hold it up one end at a time you're gonna end up fighting it and you're gonna end up pissed off like I was the first time I did it so um, I should be good until I damage this thing again or another five or six years um, I've had this box for probably 12 years at this point so um, it is definitely one that I use every day so if you like this uh, this video or help you out or gave you some ideas on how to fix your own box uh, definitely leave me some comments leave me a thumbs up um, look for this video on steam it I will post it there Harley mechanics with an X and uh, thank you guys and we'll catch you next time